Welcome to October, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Joel Fritzma, back with another daily forecast video update. It is October 2nd, 2025. Let's go ahead and dive right into it, starting with our three headlines for today. Spotty showers and storms are possible across the UP primarily tonight into tomorrow. Some will train, and we could see some spots pick up to about a half inch of rain, primarily there on a Friday. Roar chances do continue. We had Aurora the last four nights now in the state of Michigan in some capacity, and it just looks like they're going to continue as we have some coronal holes, sunspots releasing higher solar uh, winds here, and they do have some CMEs, coronal mass ejections with it, which does result in some of our Aurora. So keep that in mind. Uh, we also have our number one headline down here. October really hasn't got the memo yet that we're in fall now officially. So this 90 degrees possible Saturday, unfortunately, is just a symptom of that. And this 70 degrees is possible across southern Michigan. It's not going to be widespread. Pretty much everyone will see an 80 degree temperature high for Saturday. However, again, being so close to 90 degrees, it is very possible that some of our hotspot locations, maybe like in a city, could reach 90 degrees. And again, that would be dated for October 4th, 2025. Rewinding it back to today, though, don't have any out there today. Hotspot down here in the southwest corner, 80 to 81 degrees down there, Benton Harbor and Niles. You also got 79 across Muskegon, Grand Rapids down here towards Kalamazoo. 77 over by Lansing, a little cooler on the east side of the state. You have some winds moving off of Lake Erie there. 74 in Detroit, 74 in Sandusky. Also cold all up the, along the northeast shore. Got temperatures in the high 60s for Alpena and Oscoda. Eastern UP, same story there. Western UP got some hot air pooling against the Porcupine Mountains up there, and that could also be one of our top hot spots for today, where you can see up near 80 degrees possible for Houghton, Ironwood, Ontonagon, and even Ewan there in the west, far western UP. Snowfall forecast, nothing going on out there, but again, as I mentioned, showers and storms possible tonight into tomorrow, and that could pick up around a tenth to maybe two tenths of an inch for places across the UP. I would not be surprised if a couple of locations put down, you know, two inch per hour rates, which results in a quick inch of rain for some locations in a half hour time frame. But again, this is just area wide averages and most places will only see around a quarter of an inch or less. And this only covers through 7 a.m. tomorrow, Friday, the 3rd. So uh, once we move into Friday, some of this, some of these values here will move off to the east. Again, with showers and thunderstorms, I mentioned storms. Here is your storm outlook for the next 24 hours from now. Well, let's just say the next 36 hours. This goes through 7 p.m. on tomorrow or Friday. And this is going to move. But as it stands right now, all of the Western UP in a thunderstorm outlook, not everyone's going to see a storm. But again, that's why we have it listed, just in case one does pop up. And again, for the southern or for the lower peninsula, excuse me, no storms possible really this weekend. A lot of hot air dominates the state. Sunrise and sunset, a lot of sevens out there still remain. Sunrise getting closer to 8 a.m. now for places uh, in the western UP. You also have our sunset getting closer to 7.30. That, la that later time over there at 7.39 is for Otnagan, 7.15 for Detroit. So if you're in the middle of the state, kind of take the number in between the two there. This moon information down here is kind of critical with how much aurora we've been having lately, especially this number right here, 1250 a.m. moon set time. That means there's about four hours right now of darkness where the moon is up. And because we have a full moon or a near full moon out there, that's going to be a lot of light pollution to add to the sky. And it just makes aurora viewing possibilities a lot less than what they should be uh, if you're out there during a night where there is clear skies, which right now, a lot of partly sc cloudy skies kind of filtering in. Speaking of partly cloudy skies, this is your loop over the next couple of, or the next 24 hours here. That started at 7 a.m. As you can see, as we move into about 5, 6, 7 a.m. this, 7 p.m. this afternoon, excuse me. That is when all of our clouds start to push out. We got clear skies moving in overnight, except for up here in the western UP, as I mentioned. Got those thunderstorms moving through. That starts around 1 a.m., 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, moving over to the east side of the UP. Kind of riding across Lake Superior, but I would not be surprised if we have storms that are just kind of filtering in all through Wisconsin and even central and southern upper peninsula there beyond 2 to 3 a.m. later tonight. So keep that in mind. Really no storms out there for today during the daylight hours. But again, overnight, cover up your stuff that can't that shouldn't get wet if you are in the UP, especially the Keweenaw Peninsula. Ending it here with our three-day forecast for the weekend, starting off with the lower peninsula. These are average temperatures. So take note, if you live along the lakeshore, obviously it's going to be a lot colder than what these numbers are here. Uh, we took these from the center of the state, central Michigan here, 85 degrees 
tomorrow. We've got 86 on Saturday. As mentioned, 90 degrees is possible in some isolated spots, but the statewide average is going to be just above 85 degrees. And then you got 81 degrees over here on Sunday as we start to kind of roller coaster back down. It's not going to be too great of a roller coaster down as we still have 70s throughout the week. But again, we're getting closer to fall and getting closer to those colder temperatures. 80 degrees is going to become harder and harder to come by, especially as we get towards the middle of the month. Here's your upper peninsula average temperatures across the entire peninsula for the next three days. Again, if you're near the lake, take that into account. 78 here on Friday, 83 here on Saturday, and 78 again on Sunday. A little bit more cloud cover here in the UP compared to the lower peninsula, but really no chances of rain. Obviously, Friday there could be some pop-up storms kind of in the center of the state, but not everyone is going to get rain there on tomorrow. So that is it for today. Your sponsor here for today's forecast, Schneider Commercial Building Solutions. Number is there on the bottom of the screen. With that being said, I'm Chief Morales Joel Fritzma signing off for this morning. We hope you have a great, great weekend ahead. And we'll catch you next time for another daily forecast video here at Michigan Storm Chasers.